All right, let's dive into the core of the issue that brings us all here, the dreaded expiration of your Microsoft 365 developer program subscription. You're likely watching this because you, like many of us, have seen that countdown timer hit zero, and the panic starts to set in. You might have tried the conventional wisdom, perhaps diligently using your tenant, clicking around, maybe even making some API calls here and there, all in the hope of triggering that automatic renewal. But for some reason, it just didn't happen. Your developer environment, that crucial sandbox where you build, test, and learn, has seemingly vanished. I understand that frustration because I've been there. I tried all the usual suspects, the methods that are often suggested, but nothing seemed to work. I religiously logged into my tenant, I experimented with various features, hoping that would signal enough activity to warrant an extension. I even attempted to proactively make API calls, thinking that programmatic interaction would surely be a clear indicator of developer usage. But despite my efforts, the expiration date loomed, and then, just like that, it was gone. It's a truly disheartening experience, especially when you rely on this program for your projects, your learning, or even your professional development. You start to question if you were active enough, if you missed some obscure requirement. You might even scour the Microsoft documentation, trying to find that hidden clause or that secret renewal button that seems to elude everyone. And that's precisely where I found myself, frustrated, a little bit desperate, and determined to find a solution. The conventional methods simply weren't cutting it. There had to be another way, a more reliable method to ensure this vital resource remained available. And through a bit of digging, a bit of experimentation, I stumbled upon something that, frankly, felt like a hidden secret, the power of linking your GitHub account. Now, you might be thinking, GitHub? What does my code repository have to do with my Microsoft 365 developer tenant? And that's exactly what went through my mind. But then I noticed it, almost hidden in plain sight within the settings of the Microsoft 365 developer program dashboard. While navigating through the options, I clicked on Settings, as one does when looking for any configuration possibilities. From there, I explored the different tabs and options, and that's when I saw it, Linked Accounts. Curious, I clicked on it, and what I found there was a game changer. Right there on the page, clear as day, was an option to link my GitHub account. And the accompanying text was what truly caught my attention. It stated, and I quote, Thank you for linking your account. By linking your GitHub account, you authorize Microsoft to use your GitHub activity data as a measure of developer activity. Linking your GitHub account counts toward your subscription renewal. Did you catch that? Linking your GitHub account counts toward your subscription renewal. This was the missing piece of the puzzle, the method that Microsoft themselves acknowledges as a valid measure of your developer engagement. So, here's the step by step process. First, head over to your Microsoft 365 Developer Program dashboard. Once you're logged in, look for the Settings option, usually located on the left-hand navigation menu or somewhere prominent on the page. Click on Settings, and you'll be taken to a page with various configuration options for your developer program. On this Settings page, you should find a section labeled Linked Accounts. It might be a tab or a distinct section on the page. Click on the Linked Accounts. This will likely present you with the option to link your GitHub account. The process is straightforward, you'll typically be prompted to authorize Microsoft to access certain data from your GitHub profile. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the linking process. It's usually a matter of clicking a button and granting the necessary permissions. And that's it! Once your GitHub account is successfully linked, you've essentially provided Microsoft with an explicit signal of your ongoing developer activity. Now, let's talk about why this works. Microsoft, in their own words, uses your GitHub activity data as a measure of your engagement as a developer. This makes perfect sense. Your GitHub profile is often a central hub for your coding projects, your contributions to open source, and your overall developer footprint. By linking it, you're providing tangible evidence of your developer work, regardless of how actively you're using your specific Microsoft 365 developer tenant on a day-to-day -day basis. This method bypasses the ambiguity of relying solely on activity within the tenant itself, 
which can sometimes be difficult to quantify or might not accurately reflect your overall developer efforts. It essentially provides a more holistic view of your involvement in the developer ecosystem. So, what kind of GitHub activity counts? While Microsoft doesn't provide a granular breakdown, it's reasonable to assume that regular, genuine developer activity is what they're looking for. This would include things like committing code to repositories, both public and private, opening, reviewing, and merging pull requests, creating and commenting on issues, and generally engaging in the typical workflows of a software developer on the GitHub platform. It's less likely that simply starring repositories or passively following other developers will have a significant impact. The key is to demonstrate consistent engagement in development-related tasks on GitHub. This approach is incredibly beneficial because it acknowledges the reality of how developers often work, spreading their time across various platforms and projects. You might be heavily involved in a GIT Hub-based project while your Microsoft 365 tenant is primarily used for specific API testing or exploring Microsoft technologies. Linking your GitHub bridges that gap and provides a more accurate picture of your overall developer activity. Therefore, if you find yourself in the frustrating situation of your Microsoft 365 developer program subscription nearing expiration or even hitting zero days, don't despair. Before you spend hours trying to artificially inflate your tenant activity, try this simple yet effective method, link your GitHub account. It's a direct and officially recognized way to signal your continued engagement as a developer and significantly increases your chances of a successful renewal. Make this your first line of defense, your go-to solution when renewal seems uncertain. It's the secret that Microsoft doesn't explicitly shout from the rooftops, but it's a powerful tool in your arsenal to maintain access to this invaluable developer resource. And here's a little secret for you, a bit of a joker if you will, even I hadn't been actively developing or pushing to my GitHub account since late 2024. My profile was pretty quiet, to say the least. Yet, when I linked it after my account hit zero days, guess what? After about seven days, my Microsoft 365 developer program subscription was renewed. It just goes to show how powerful and forgiving this method truly is. All right, we've reached the end, and I really hope this helps you out. Remember, if you found this video useful, ring the notification bell so you don't miss future tips and tricks. Up next, you'll see two videos on your screen. On the left, how to lock folders in Windows PC for free. On the right, make your PC computer faster. I will see you there.